So good morning, everybody. So today we are here with our next lecture in the series on placements. So today we will be having with us, we are having with us our alumni, Lena, Mehaklin, and Rhythm, who are working as associate software engineers at H&R Block Chennai. So uh, welcome you all on behalf of all the students and uh, on behalf of myself as well. Thank you for your time. So, because uh, this is going to help a lot to all those students who are in their final year and who are going to go for the placement interviews for H&R Block shortly. So, my first question to you is, uh, everybody would like to know that how many rounds of placements are there in H&R Block when they are going to uh, apply for that? Uh, so, basically, there will be four, four rounds. The first round will be the aptitude round in which you will be having an online aptitude. Okay, there will be limit like you will be having one hour and you have to do some specific questions. Okay, after come like uh, qualifying for that round, uh, then you will be having a group discussion round. In that you will be uh, having around like in 10 people, you will be having some topic and you have to speak. And then you will be shortlisted on the basis of how you spoke in that. Okay, then after shortlisting in that one, you will be having one um, interview session in which you will be, um, uh, the question will be asked according to your resume. Like for example, if you have uh, wrote that, you know C++, right? Then they'll be asking questions according to that. And then some questions from data structures, oops, these questions will be asked. And then lastly, there will be one HR round in which they will be asking some like normal questions like uh, uh, where do you see uh, uh, you, yourself after five years, like questions like that. Will be that. So there will be basically four rounds in H&R block. Uh, Lena, you would like to add in that something because uh, when we talk about GD, there are students who start the GD, who uh, join in between the GD and who conclude the GD. What do you suggest to your juniors that which role they should take up? Because there are so many students from various colleges, how they should uh, um, do well in GD so that they should get selected. See, group discussions play a, signific a significant role in the placement process. So what they do is uh, when we were in the HNR block placement and when we went for GD, they made a group of like around 20 to 24 people and there were around 10 groups. So out of which only two or three people are going uh, selected, were selected. And uh, the topics were also very normal, basic topic will be there like artificial intelligence, electrical vehicles. These are the basic and general topics which we are, which are going on. So what, what they did was they give everybody to speak on everybody and when the conclusion comes so they give the uh, they ask us like who uh, want to conclude so everybody raised their hand and they selected one person and that, that person concluded so it's better you try to speak first uh, when the group discussion started so better try to speak the first you should be the first person who should speak and when they're asking to conclude be ready to conclude also the more you speak the more they know about your communication skills how you speak and how you how the good you present okay mahak you want to add something in this gds what lena has stated yeah like according to me um uh, like it's not about that you are speaking and speaking and speaking like if you are even speaking less but your content is very you know useful then it will also play, like show a lot of impact on yourself that like, yeah you speak very well so speak like try to uh, like learn or read a few topics like uh, like social media artificial intelligence because these topics will be there these are very basic questions so try to read these like more you you, you will read more you will, will be prepared for this so yeah try to speak yeah try to speak but more you speak more relevant things, it will uh, play a major role in that as well. So, uh, Rhythm, can you uh, can you suggest something yeah. for? Yes. Um. Basically, the thing is, uh, when you go, when you're going for the GD, okay. Uh, the thing that main plays the main part is you have to speak. 
when you start uh this give a very positive impact even when uh, my gd was there i was the one who started uh, the gd so uh the one person who took my gd who was there to judge it he still remembers my name he still remembers me that i started the gd and he told me i didn't remember him he remembered me that uh, oh this was the girl who started it like they look at the confidence uh, with the co- how much confidence we speak and uh, how we get into things and how clearly we know about the topics the topics might be up to a middle level it will not be too difficult uh, it will be uh, the journal going on topics can you just topics. name like some can... topics yeah yeah uh, for us uh, it was a very basic topic which was about uh, these online studies in covid time and uh, for some it was a little difficult uh, like the ongoing uh, news or something related to that they won't choose a topic on which you can't speak like basic topics they will uh, take up and they will try everyone uh, that everyone should speak uh, during our gd what happened was there were some girls uh, who were uh, unable to give their points because everyone was fighting for their chance and everything so uh, they themselves gave them choice to speak up and if the points were valid and they thought that this person is confident enough to jo- uh, to go for the further round uh, so they uh, took them up so okay. uh, it all depends upon your confidence and the way you speak so it is more of that how uh, basically they keep on uh, increasing their knowledge by reading uh, the basic topics that can come for gds so lena and mahaklin if you can remember some topics you can add on to uh, their knowledge that they should prepare such type of topics so that uh, they can uh, prepare for that lena and mahak uh your uh, mic is actually mute ma'am can you repeat actually your voice is ma'am your voice is cracking can you repeat i think can you add on to the topics that your juniors should prepare if they are going to face some gds so that they yeah. can be aware of those topics yeah like first is for me it was social media is a ban or boon this is a very common topic you will be like seeing this topic very frequently so you can prepare for that artificial intelligence is very important topic i feel because it is like very popular nowadays you, so you can prepare for that as well women empowerment you can do and um, yeah these are the topics which i saw came frequently dina so you can prepare for these topics yeah, they will only give you the basic top topic not like uh, they'll not give you any most common uh, topic in my gd i got the ai topic so i think these all are the very common topics you should prepare for okay so can you people uh, shed some light on the interview questions they asked you uh, basically the interview questions will be based on your resume i feel if you are writing like i know python and c++ they will be asking more questions from that if you are writing that you know uh, uh data structures they will be asking questions from that so make your resume very carefully don't write stuff that you don't know i will suggest you that write stuff that you know very well uh, also they will be asking questions from your projects so if i made this project they are going to uh, ask like how you made this what technologies did you use so these questions will be there i feel Lena like and Rhythm, do you want to add something to the interview round? So, in the interview round, when we are talking about the technical round questions, they'll ask you whatever is written in your resume. If in if uh, some people what they do is they write that I learned C plus plus, I learned Python, I learned Java, and everything. So, the more you write, the more question they will ask you. If you'll write only one thing, yeah, I know only C plus plus, then the question will be from that only. Talking about the projects. there should be at least two three projects in your resume written and they will ask you anything from your projects and they are not going to ask you anything out of the uh, resume you have written so better be very careful and always prepare your resume on a single page because they are not having so much time to see your resume turning out two three pages so better do it up for one page and uh, better uh, write in your resume write uh, your skills also like your uh, like the certifications you did 
the training you attended if you have participated in any gd you organized anything write it down because this is the only way they got to know about like you are the leader you know how to manage things you have leadership qualities rhythm you want to add something to the interview round uh, uh, for me uh, basically the thing is if you are focusing on sql uh, focusing on sql is very important uh, what i think is uh, as snr log uh, works on uh, sql very frequently so most of the projects run on sql over when you are um, when you went for, when you are going for the interview okay go through your projects very well the projects are the main thing they will ask you questions about and uh, if you are good in sports or anything you can even mention that in your interview uh, or you can mention that in your extra curricular uh, that mention you can mention there in the resume as extra curricular activities and everything because uh, hnr block also focus on um, this uh, sports activities and everything on extra curricular so uh, yeah moreover you can focus on one programming language uh, it can be anything it can be c++ or java or something don't go for over confidence or something be confident be don't be over confident yeah that's it okay so uh, what about the hr round do you remember some uh, questions they were tricky or they were simple ones uh, what they asked you all in your hr rounds for the hr round uh, i remember like uh, they asked me uh, if uh, basic questions and uh, first when they look at your um, technical interview okay uh, they then only decide that this person is uh, applicable or not for our company so uh, they went for uh, how you can uh, how you can adjust the food there or how do you adjust the food at your hostel and everything um are you ready to adjust these kind of questions they usually ask like if you uh, tell them uh, that i can adjust in the atmosphere i can uh, i am very adaptable to everything so yeah they will consider it as a positive point lena and mahak do you want to add something to the hr round please yeah in the hr round uh, like they'll ask a very common questions for me they ask like what is the difference between hostel life and your home life which do you feel better uh, so like these they will ask question and yeah at the last they ask have you have any questions so better ask one question don't just say that i don't have any question ask anything any doubt uh, anything you need to know about your company ask anything just don't say that i don't have any question so this is the main thing i want to put it in the course mehak yeah so for me they asked me like mehak you stay in patiala and uh, like you are studying in patiala too so we are not sure that you will be coming to kerala if we hire you so basically and in the hr round they will see your communication as well as your convincing power so like i did convince that that yeah i was very prepared that if i'm doing btech i have to move to the other city as well so you you should know that how you can convince them so hr round is i think basically very important round most of the people think that it is not an important round but it is a very important round and yes as lena said it is very important that you should ask question because it will show impact that yeah you are you are interested in the job so ask questions it can be anything that what are your working hours very basic questions can be there but yeah ask questions in that okay so uh, students would like to know that uh, were there any online sites from which you took help to prepare for your uh, placements because you also applied for this in campus placements and uh, what were the sites that help you to prepare for that see for the aptitude i opted for the websites like india bigs you only told us that uh, website so india bigs is very good for aptitude and reasoning purpose of question and uh, for the technical skills what i did was um, uh, like i made an account on lead code and code chef so i made a goal like i will solve five questions can you just name those two sites again on... lena can you name those two sites again yeah sure lead code and code chef okay yeah so what i did was i made an account there and uh, i make a goal like i'll solve 5 to 10 questions daily on that so i did that and for the dsa i started uh, was watching youtube video i don't remember the name i think it's love babbar uh, this is a very long playlist for dsa so for dsa i did that from youtube okay uh, mehak and rhythm do you want to add something to this 
the online yeah, me yeah, too, I did, yeah for me too i did the aptitude from india bix but you, you can also refer geeks for geeks that is also very good like for the hr questions i really found very good questions from there like if before the hr on you will read once then you will get the like idea like how this is how i need to reply to the question so for the hr round you can refer geeks for geeks and for the coding uh, prep is uh, prep insta is also good and you can also refer youtube as well so yeah this is how i prepared for that yeah for me um, basically i had uh, some courses purchased from coursera and udemy which i followed for my dsa and my that programming skills um and for aptitude and the reasoning thing i went ahead with the india bix only uh, these were the two things that i did um, nothing much and i mainly focused on my projects like uh, creating projects i tried to make more than two projects two or three pro main projects yeah and it went well for sequel also i referred to um that this only uh, udemy only and then i had some exams for sequel i uh, opted to that and tried clearing that and that was uh, with some amazon web something yeah i can share the link with you ma'am if you want okay so students now uh, whatever you want to ask kindly ask them it's open to you all but one by one chesta jyoti bhisham any questions you would like to ask them Uh, okay, so hi, Deep. Myself, Shisha. Uh, so I just want to ask that mainly, uh, uh, you are uh, mainly you fo um, focus on which round and you face difficulty in which round mainly, if any round you face difficulty during your interviews or during like the in which round aptitude or uh, like interview questions in which round you mainly face the difficulty and how you overcome that. see uh, when you are sitting for any company the first round will be aptitude and if you are not if you are focusing on technical round and hr round and if you are not preparing for aptitude you are not going to sit in technical until you passed out the aptitude so the first step is you should prepare for aptitude round what we are doing was we are focusing on technical round like we'll prepare coding we'll learn dsa we'll make projects but we forget to uh, do aptitude and what happened is when companies will come we are not able to uh, pass out the first round we are not having the chance to sit in the technical round because we are not able to uh, crack the aptitude round so better start focusing on aptitude round um, for me i faced difficulty in aptitude round mostly mahak and uh, rhythm you would like to add something to it yeah even for me i faced difficulty in the aptitude round because in the first few companies we were only preparing for the coding and we were just taking the aptitude very lightly but when we just lose the few companies then only we realize that no we need to like prepare for the aptitude first so yeah prepare for the aptitude first uh, when your aptitude will be clear you will be very confident that yes if i cleared this i will be clearing the others other rounds as well so yeah first do prepare for that rhythm uh, yeah for i will also suggest the same uh, basically the thing is um, when you will go through the websites okay for the aptitude sometimes uh, like when there are companies coming from mohali or somewhere uh, near about you will find the similar questions that are given in the websites you will get it into the question paper this the people won't uh, take much time uh, they won't spend their energy to create new questions or find different questions you will find the similar questions in the website so uh, you will that time you will realize you will realize that oh yeah i saw this question a time before and i even know the answer to it so uh, prepare for your aptitude well and i won't say that you can you have to go into the depth or something prepare for the basics and uh, when you'll prepare for the basics some companies like kpmg okay uh, when i uh, sat for the aptitude of kpmg there were a lot of graph questions and we didn't focus on that graphical questions and everything the ta ta tabular questions were there graphical questions were there so focus on that too okay so any other question from the students
So that's all. All the doubts are clear. So, okay, I would like to ask you all uh, that uh, what uh, advice you would like to give to your juniors that uh, how, because there is only two weeks to start with their placements. So now what should be uh, they doing so that they get placed in these two weeks to three weeks? What should they be doing? Go with aptitude. These two weeks are crucial. Uh, start with the aptitude trainings and everything and go through your projects again and again. And I would suggest uh, go for DBMS. Uh, just have a grab over DBMS. Everyone will ask you about SQL and everything. Um, and that is a plus point even at my interview. Okay? Um, I was asked question about SQL again and again. Even I was uh, wrong at one of them. But my confidence took me uh, here. Like he asked me again, are, are you sure this is correct? Are you sure this is correct? And work on your communication skills. Uh, that's And the confidence. These are the things that you should work on in your last uh, weeks. Attitude is must Lena and Mike, you want to yes, add something to this? From my side, you can prepare for the aptitude first. And then, like, according to me, uh, computer networks, DBMS, OOPS, and data structures. These are the four core subjects, like, which will be asked in the interview. So what I did was I watched one or two or short videos in which you will be having all the content which will be important for the interview. So I will suggest you in, in these two to three weeks, what you can do is watch those videos make notes of that so one well, like if a company will come and it's requirement will be a computer networks right so what you can do is just read that note so it will be very helpful for you for that so this is what i did i made the notes once and whenever any company comes i like read the notes accordingly like if the requirement is dbms then i used to read that and if the requirement is computer networks i used to do that so that was very helpful for me and it saved a lot of time for me so you can do that as well. Mag, this is a very good advice that you have given to everybody because as the time is short, they can just make their short yes. notes on that and they can go through that uh, whenever the company uh, is coming accordingly. So, Lena, you would like to add to something? Yeah, so for me, I'll say like uh, whenever you are going, any company is coming and you're going to sit in that, do read what company do. Don't go like just blindly and go and sit there because they will ask you like if you're going to sit in the HR blog they will ask you like what do you know about my company if you don't know anything then they'll feel that you are not interested in joining the company so better read before what the company is doing what is uh, what are the projects that they are working on so better prepare for that and yeah don't overlook the importance of communication what people do is like we know everything but if we are not able to present it if we are uh, not able to present in front of the interviewer that we know these things then nothing it's all the waste of time what you are doing what you all are doing so better be prepared for the communication skills as well uh, and um, yeah if you are uh, if you are not confident for the group discussions, start making groups and start practicing in your friend circle only because this is the way you can do better in your interviews round. So I think that's all. Nobody wants to ask any question. I think all the doubts are clear in this interview. So I thank you all of you for taking out some time for your juniors and prepare them for the upcoming interviews that are going to come and they are going to face that. So thank you so much all three of you. And I think you should uh, wish them, uh, your juniors, best of luck for their coming interviews. Yes. All the best, best guys for everyone. your interviews. Thank all you. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. So in the last, I would like to conclude that the important sites that are being used. So firstly, if you are going for your aptitude preparation, you should always go with your indiabix.com. If you are going for so if we are going for our HR rounds, then we should go for Jeeks for Jeeks. And if we want to go with your uh, this technical round, we should get through lead code 
and code chef by creating our accounts and we can go for dsa lectures if we have not read them in our uh, colleges then we can go for dsa lectures by love wapper as suggested by lena so there is one hack rack also for technical uh, one that karsimran uh, told us about so for technical we have lead code hack rank and code chef, code chef for aptitude we will be having our indiabix.com for hr rounds we will be having our jigs for jigs and for dsa you can go with the video lectures by love bubber along with that when you are getting placed in anything just your first your first project you should always put your heart in completing that right so this is the most important thing that all you all should practice so now is the time as soon as you are going to watch this video kindly start preparing for your placements even if you are in first year go with this even if you are in your final year then you should go for your hr round as well as the technical rounds and your uh, core subjects just pay attention to them so all the best everybody whoever is going to apply for your placements thank you so much we will be meeting next with our new alumni thank you